A table of values shows a relationship between numbers. And in a table of values, there's always a pattern in the numbers. Here's a table of values with a column of input numbers and a column of output numbers. So on the left-hand column, we've got numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the right-hand column, we've got numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So hopefully you can see that there's a pattern. In the left-hand column, the numbers go up by one each time. And similarly, in the right-hand column, the numbers also increase by one each time. They just start in a different place. So quite likely, you can see that if you were to extend this pattern, the next set of numbers would be 6 and 7. So every table of values has a pattern similar to this. But the most important thing about a table of values is the relationship between the two numbers. So if you take a look at the number on the left-hand column, it has a relationship with the number on the right-hand column. And that relationship is in the form of some kind of operation that has been performed on the number. And again, an operation in math is like adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So some operation has been conducted on the number 1 to get the number 2. And there are different operations that could be conducted. But if you think about it, one that you could try would be adding. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we've just done an operation, adding 1 to the number 1 to get the number 2. But in a table of values, the rule, which in this case is adding 1, has to apply to every set of numbers. So we need to try it on the next set of numbers. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. Yes, that is correct. And we continue down to make sure it works for every set of numbers. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And it does. It works for every set of numbers in this table of values. So the relationship in a table of values can usually be stated as a rule, such as add 1 to every number to get the output number, the number you, you, on the right-hand side. Here's another table of values with a different set of numbers. But again, on the left, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. And on the right, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you can see that the numbers on the right increase by 1 each time. The numbers on, sorry, the numbers on the left increase by 1 each time. The numbers on the right go up by 2. So again, hopefully you can see the pattern and that the next set of numbers, if you're going to extend this pattern, hopefully you can see that it would be 6 and 12. But again, let's take a look at the relationship between the number on the left and the number on the right. Well, here we've got 1 and 2 again. So again, we could think about the operation of adding 1 or the rule of adding 1. If we add 1 to 1, we get 2, yes. But again, the pattern has to apply, the pattern rule has to apply to every set of numbers because every set of numbers will have the same relationship. 2 plus 1 equals 3, so we know that that is not correct. So the pattern rule can't be add 1. So we have to try a different pattern rule. What else could we do to 1 to get to the number 2 besides adding? Well, perhaps you thought about multiplying. We can multiply 1 times 2 to get 2. So again, let's apply that rule to the next set of numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. Yes, that is correct. But again, it has to apply to all of the numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10. So we can see that in this case, our pattern rule is multiply by 2, because every number on the left is multiplied by 2 to get the number on the right. Here's another table of values. Again, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the left-hand column. And in the right, we go up by 2's, but they're odd numbers starting at 3. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So hopefully, if you were to extend the pattern, can you see what the next pair of numbers would be? 
and hopefully you can see that it would be 6 and 13. But we need to take a look at the relationship. So one way we can get from 1 to 3 is to add 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. We need to apply that to the next set of numbers. 2 plus 2 is not 5, so that rule does not apply. So the rule can't be add 2. So what else could we do to get from 1 to 3? Again, we could multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. That's correct. Try it on the next set of numbers. No, 2 times 3 is not 5. 2 times 3 is 6. So the rule cannot be multiplied by 3. Now, one thing about um, table of values is that you can sometimes have two operations. So I think that that's going to be the case because nothing comes out clear if we add or multiply. So perhaps two things are happening here. Perhaps multiplying and subtraction or multiplying and addition or addition and multiplying. So let's try multiplying by 2 and then adding 1 to get 3 because that, that is correct. But again, we need to apply that to the next set of numbers. So let's see if multiplying by 2 and adding 1 gives us the result we need, which is 5. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Yes. So, so far it's worked for these two sets of numbers, but we need to make sure it works for all the sets of numbers. And so we try it on each set of numbers. And 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9, and 5 times 2 plus 1 is 11. So our rule in this case would be multiply by 2 and add 1. So no matter what number we start with, we would apply that rule to get our ending number, our output number. Sometimes you're given the rule and you need to apply it to a table of values. So in this case, the rule is given. And the rule is multiply by 3, then subtract 2. So for every number in the input column, that's what we need to do to it. Those are the operations we need to complete. So the first number is given to you, but let's just check it. If we multiply 1 by 3, we get 3. Then we subtract 2 and we get 1. So let's try it on the next number to see what the output is. So 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 equals 4. And what about the next number? 3 times 3 minus 2. What would you fill in for that number? And hopefully you came up with the same number I did, which is 7, because 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 is 7. And you just continue applying the rule until you have filled in the table of values. And it, again, it doesn't matter what numbers are in the left column. You just need to apply the same rule and to get your output number. So in a table of values, we have a set of numbers to which a rule is applied to get another set of numbers. So our input numbers then some operation, and we get our output numbers. And the rule can include more than oper one operation, and it can include multiplication, subtraction, division, and addition.